Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Eric. In today's video I'll be showing you three methods to creating a drop down menu. From a very basic and simple method to something a little more advanced. Okay, so to start off with the basic drop down menu, you want to select the cell that you want your drop down menu on. And then at the top here where it says data, you want to click that and then select data validation. On the next pop up here under settings tab, under the allow drop down menu, you want to change any value to a list. And then under source, you want to enter your values that you want your users to select from. So I'll put in a few just to show you. And then once you're done, you click OK. See a drop down arrow. When you click that, you'll see a list of all the options that you inputted. Now, let's say you already have a huge list that's already done and you don't want to manually type it in. Well, there's an easy way to do this. I'll show you using the text joined function. So on an empty cell, enter equals and then text join and then hit tab. And the first argument here is asking for a delimiter. So for the delimiter, we're going to put inside double quotes, a comma, and a space, and then close off your double quotes. Next, we're going to hit two commas to ignore the other arguments, and then we'll go to the next one, which is text. So for the text one, we'll have to select your entire range of data, close off your parentheses, and then hit enter. So you notice that each of the names here have a comma and a space after that's our delimiter. So from there, we want to copy this and then paste it back into the cell using a values, the actual values. Up at the formula bar, you want to copy this entire range. Hit escape. You want to select the cell that you had your previous data validation, your drop down menu, and then click on data, go back to data validation. And you can adjust your your source here with the updated data. Click OK. Now you can see that the list has been updated with all the correct options. Now what you can do is you can drag this down to downfill the rest of the cells, which will contain the, the values as well. So what if you want to make your drop down menu more dynamic? So first of all, we'll need to have your data source. So the list of your values that you want in your data validation, you want to highlight it all. On your keyboard, press Control T, or you can go up to the menu, insert a table. So on the pop-up here, it'll ask you where the data source for your table is. It should automatically highlight since you already selected your data source. If your, if your data source does not contain a header, you want to leave this unchecked. If it does include a header, then you can leave it checked. So click OK, and this will become a table. So for your drop down menu, just go back to where you want your drop down menu, select the cell, go up to data. For your data validation, you want to delete your previous one. With your mouse, you just want to hover just above the column header where you want your first data validation. And you'll notice that the cursor will change to a downward facing arrow. So click that and you'll notice that it highlights all the cells below the header, and that's what you want. Once you got that, you click on OK, and then go back to your drop down menu here by selecting your list here. You'll notice that it looks the same. Let's go. So let's add a row here and we'll add golf. And let's go back to your cell and let's see if that updated. And it did. Let's say you want to delete these two rows. We'll highlight those and delete those rows. And we'll go back to your cell, look at the drop down menu, and you notice that it's gone as well. So that's dynamically, so that is dynamically updated. And you want to drag this down so it repeats for the remaining cells. And it's working. And you'll want to rinse and repeat for any other columns that you want your drop down menu.
Okay, so another way to do a dynamic drop-down menu without using a table, we can use formulas. And we will be combining three different functions together, the offset, match, and the count A formula. So go ahead on an empty cell here, we'll go ahead and select that, and then we'll type in the offset function. And now for the first argument, it's asking for a reference point. So the reference would be the, the header of your data source. I'll go ahead and select that, and then lock that, make that absolute and then hit comma. Next argument is asking for a row. So how many rows do you want to offset? And our data from the header row is the first one, so we'll enter one. And then hit comma. Next for the column, we want to match the header in your menu for your dropdown list. So we want to do the match function. And the lookup will be your header. And then we will only lock the rows. And then hit comma. And the lookup array will be the header in your data source. So we want to select that, and we'll lock that as well. And then comma, type in zero, and then close off your parentheses. And now for the columns, we actually want to do minus one. Otherwise, it's going to offset that as well, and we don't want that. Next, we'll type in count A. And then for the value one, we'll actually copy your offset and your match formula, and we'll paste it into here. And then we'll do a comma. For the height, I want to make sure that it's, it allows for future uh, extra data. So we want to include more than what's necessary. So for my purposes, I'll put in 100. If you have more than 100 rows, then you need to adjust accordingly to your data source. And then comma. We're going to do one for the width for the single column. And then we're going to close off our brackets twice and then type in comma. And then for the width, again, we're going to do one, close off your bracket and hit enter. And as you can see here, my formula spills because I'm using the latest office. And then if I delete this, you can see that it, dy it dynamically updates. So we can add or remove and it will update automatically. So now that we can see that it's working, we'll go ahead and select the first cell, go up to your formula bar and copy your formula, hit escape, then select the first cell that you want your dropdown menu, go up to data, go to data validation, and under the settings tab, under the allow dropdown, you want to select list, and then paste in your formula, click on okay, and we'll double check just to make sure that's working, and it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and delete these two entries, and then we'll check again. And you can see it updates. Now we'll go ahead and drag this down, and then we can check the rest of the cells here just to make sure it's working. Excellent. Now to get it working for the other columns, we'll need to go back to your original formula. We'll need to adjust your lookup value from the first name to last name and then hit and then we can copy your formula and then select the cell go up back up to your data validation we'll select the list from the allow and then paste in your formula and we can see that these are all the last names we'll go ahead and drag this down again you could do the same thing if you have other columns that you want Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if these videos are helpful. Leave a comment down below if you have any topics that you want me to cover. See ya!